Hello YouTube, Chester Boy here, and welcome to my 10 year anniversary special. That's right, 10 years of me being on YouTube. Of me doing reviews, you know, from from the old webcam days to the iPhone days, we could say. I mean, so, so for my 10 year special, you could, as you, know, so you can see right there, I'm taking a look at the, at the Titan class Omega Supreme figure from Transformers Siege. So, now I'm going to say this right off the bat, this is going to be a two part review. So the first part, we're going to cover the base mode, and all the um, components that it came with. We got the rocket, the tank, um, the Battlemaster um, countdown, and, well, Autobot countdown, and the base itself. So, yeah, and of course, it does come with s um, seven effect parts. So, yeah, we'll take a look at those um, in, a f in a few minutes. So, so, so for starters, we're going to take a look at countdown. All right, so before we get to the base mode, we're going to take a look at the MicroMaster that this figure comes with, is Countdown. So you can see, um, Countdown is a moon rover. A moon buggy, if you so choose. Um, got some nice detailed tires here, which, you know, they're off-road tires, or to say moon tires, or whatever you want to term that is. You see, got some nice engine detailing going on. Got the nice satellite dish there. Um... Very nice stuff. And as you can see, there's the head of Countdown. Um, you can see all, roll, all the wheels roll very well. Of course, there is a little peg down there, which once we get to part two, um, I'll explain what this is for. So, and, and, this is, and no, this does not become a weapon. All right. So, no. So, transformation. Push down the satellite dish. Make sure you fold the legs out. And just... Fold the arms down. That's it. That is countdown in robot mode. So yeah. So yeah. This is countdown. Pretty impressive detailing, like I said before. Got the nice dark blue eyes right there. Um, so yeah. Articulation. Um, the head does not rotate because it's molded in. So yeah. The arms swing all the way around. Of course, there's a neat, there's a uh, thigh swing. Well, there's a ball joint right here, and here's a knee joint, and of course it could, sw it could swing out to the side, and that's pretty much it for Countdown. So that's that. So, let's take a look at Omega Supreme. All right, so we're taking a look at the two vehicles that, that come with this figure. Well, I should say parts of Omega Supreme. So we got the tank, and we got the rocket. Now, I'm going to apologize about the bit for the rocket because of how long this rocket is, but we'll get more into that later so we're gonna take part we're gonna take we'll put aside the rocket and then we'll take a look at the tank in detail you can see here is the tank um very big i'll say got the nice big autobot insignia right there because we got two bar wheels on the bottom here now if you remember the g1 toy this thing was motorized um and of course we made it go and of course, this one's not, you know, motorized as well. Because, you know, if this thing still had the motorized feature, just like the G1 toy did, this one a bit more, bit, a lot more expensive. So, yeah. So you have to go, you know, manual with this thing. So, so yeah, very nice. Um, it does have a turn that goes up and down like this. Now, it does not rotate because of, you know, Omega Supreme's head here. Um, yes, I did a little spoiler. There, there's Omega Supreme's head right there. Um. So you can do that. And of course you can pose the smaller tank cans up like this. Um, and of course there's a little feature in here where if you open this up, you get um, a nice little docking bay of some sorts. And you can see there's some little tabs in here, whatever you want to call them. Um, you can actually store countdown in its vehicle mode in like this and close it up. And boom, you got countdown in the tank. And this is one of the three um, ways you can store countdown. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to flip up the satellite dish. That's okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. You can see the inside detail as well. Very nice silver paint, by the way. So, yeah. That's it for the tank. That's the side. And we took a look at the, this big Mama Jamma here. The rocket. Oh, boy. There's a lot of <laughs> detail we got to talk about. Um... Starting with the tip, the tip, um, you can see it does this feature. Um, actually, 
Yeah, it does this. It retracts, but that is for the transformation. So we're going to leave that extended. You can see there's a cockpit detail right here. Um, and of course, there's like a window right here. And speaking of that, you can actually open this up and you can store countdown as well. So you can put them in vehicle mode or robot mode, whatever you want to do. Store them in there, close the cap, close this up, and boom, countdown's in the rocket. So yeah, so that's two out of three ways you can store countdown. And look, the inside is detailed. So we got like, got some computer going here, got some tech, got some nice detailing there. So again, very, very nice detail. Of course, we got some burnt marks on there, which that's actually intentional. Um, this, which when I get to the whole um, effect parts that come with it, which I will get to it later, don't worry. Um, so we got some burnt marks here, which that, that's intentional. So there's a reason for that. But. So here's the midsec. Well, okay, here's the under part of it. Okay, here's the midsection. Again, very nice detailing. And here's the back part. There we go, because we've got these big um, orange, clear orange pieces, which become one of the hands of Omega Supreme. We've got some nice um, burners going on, exhaust. Again, very neat. And of, course, and of course, this one does rotate. So yeah. So that's the only one bit of articulation for the rocket. It's just this piece right here turning. So yeah. So that's it for the rocket and, whoops. That's it for the rocket. Now we're gonna take a look at the base itself. All right, so here is the base itself. Now you can see there's a lot to cover. So let's take a look up close. Um, you can see we've got some missile pods here on the side. Um, got some nice stuff here. And yeah, we'll get to those later. We've got little two mini ramps here. I'm sure they're touching the table. Um, so then, of course, you can open this up. You can see we got more detailing there. Again, more silver paint. Um, of course, we're gonna take a look at the track here. So we got two burnt marks there. Um, again, very nice, impressive track detailing going on here. Um, we should move these parts out of the way. All right. Let's rotate here. And of course, here's another. And of course, if you open this up, you got like a little compartment here. Same with the other side. Um, and also, this is the third way you can store um, countdown here. So you can store them in like this if you want to. So there you go. That's all three ways you can store countdown there. So, and of course, here's the back part of it. Again, very nice detailing. Very nice. Um, here's the other side. And there you go. That's pretty much the base. Now, now these parts I covered here, which are over here, these are effect parts that comes with. And this figure comes with seven. So we got like a big explosion part, which you could put on here. You could, like there's a big explosion happening there. You could, there's like a little, me, little some semi-big explosion over here. Um, how about these little pieces right here, which look like, you know, flamethrower parts if you wish, like, you know, from a flamethrower. I guess you could put it right here. Yeah, that kind of works, um, but yeah. And of course, here are the rest. So, whoops, and one just fall off my hand, which don't worry, I'll get that later. Um, so, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Well, I'm gonna show the base all together. So here's the base all together. We got the tank here, got the rocket. Oh, I got to bring it on countdown. Okay, that was a perfect landing. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, that's the base. And I forgot to point out when I show the effect parts that you can combine them. Like you can see you can make big, you know, big, you know, explosions like muzzle flashes or something like that. So there you go. Here's a nice cool example. And yes, the tank can run, can ride on the track, but not too well is because of the way how the wheels work. Again, they're bar wheels. Um, so, so yeah, you can see there's a tank going around there, and yeah, it's not the best, but hey, what can you do? So, 
So yeah. So I think that's pretty much it for the base mode. Um, so tune in next time for part two. I'm going to take a look at the transformation to robot mode and the features of Omega Supreme's robot mode. So thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter, like my Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. I'll see you in part two.